What's going on, Valorant friends? This is Game Shine Gaming. I am Prometheus. I have been playing Counter Strike now for about 12 to 15 years. It's been a very long time. I started in Counter Strike 1.5 uh, competitively, I played 1.6 competitively, Counter Strike Source, and Counter Strike Global Offensive, all competitively. And one of the things that matters so much is why. Counter-Strike and Valorant are very very similar is that the recoil on the guns and the way that the guns operate. A lot of people are used to playing other games like Call of Duty where you can keep running and shooting. And obviously in games like Valorant, you have to strafe, shoot, strafe, shoot, and stop, right? And in Counter-Strike, that is a big thing. Stop, shoot, stop, shoot, stay moving. And that is a big thing. Now, what the similarities are are the two main weapons so we have the vandal and we have the phantom and these guns have a very big similarity to the same main rifles in counter-strike which are going to be the m4 and the ak-47 so to me the vandal is the AK-47 and one of the things that's very known in Counter-Strike GO is that the AK-47 will always have that one tap potential that means when a bullet hits the head the person dies whereas the M4 in Counter-Strike it dinks so when you hit someone in the head if they have head armor it can possibly dink them and if they have an AK they can possibly shoot you back and one shot you with the AK so they'll win in that exchange now personally I'm an AK player in all situations I always play AK I'm just used to the recoil I'm used to the pop so in this game in the van vandal I, I I think is a great weapon but it's not the same as the other game where you use it in all situations so this game is more situational and that's why i'm going to explain in this video the top differences in the phantom and the vandal and the differences that i'm going to go over the three key differences are situational so when to use the vandal when to use the phantom play style and then we're also going to go over recoil the difference in the recoil of the two guns which will match up with your play style and usually your situational what type of player you are what type of bomb site you play in all of those situations so let's get into step one the best situation to use the vandal and the best situation to use the phantom okay so real quick let's go over the two stat differences and you can see that on the right of the screen here i'll show you some very big key differences and help you understand those so when we look at the phantom if you look to the right and you see where it says damage and it says body 39 head 156 leg 33 in 0 15 meters so that means within 0 to 15 meters that is going to be your damage range now when we get into 15 to 30 meters range right when that enemy is 15 to 30 meters away that damage drops on the phantom and you can see body is 35 head is 140 and leg is 30. so the key the the biggest key thing that i'm going to look at is the headshots we always want to get headshots that's gonna help you trade more, right? You can't get into big firefights consistently and, and expect to get two, three kills around. You wanna always manage two to three kills around. That is your, that will help you stay consistent and doing those trades. So if you headshot one person, you're gonna have a lot more health. Obviously you can get healed and things like that in this game, but in certain situations that may not be possible. Your healer may be dead. You may not, may not have uh, champions that give you heals so you're you're always going to want to get headshots that will help you get more trades and that'll help you take less bullets the less bullets you take in trades 
the longer you stay alive. So we're going to look at the head damage. So head 124. When we get to 30 to 50 meters, the head damage is 124. Now let's look at the Vandal. And this is the big key factor and why I say it's very similar to the AK-47 because when we look at the range 0 to 50 meters, the there's only one damage. And that goes from 0 to 50 meters. That stays highest damage no matter where you're shooting from. So 30 to 50 meters, head 124. 0 to 50 meters, head 156. Right? So the Vandal will always be consistent. You will always get that one shot head shot. Now, let's look at the fire rate. So the fire rate on the Vandal is 9.25 rounds a second, whereas the Phantom is 11 rounds a second. So what this means is obviously you can shoot more bullets, yes, but this gun, the Phantom, is better, is the spray, the spray is going to be more controlled, right? Because it's better built for spraying. And you have five more bullets as the magazine capacity. So this is going to be a good uh, spray. Uh, more bullets you can spray and control it a lot easier. Whereas the Vandal is going to have a lot more buck. It's going to it's going to buck up. So you're going to have to learn that recoil curve. All right. So let's start off with the Vandal. And let's get into what situations to use the Vandal. So this game is very team based. And depending on what your position is going to be. So some people like to play, like me, for example, I, I like to play B sites, where B sites are usually rush sites. And what that means is you're going to have a small corridor like this. There's going to be places to uh, watch it from. And, and a lot of enemies are going to rush through this one area. So up close, a gun like a Vandal is always going to be better in any close situations the gun the vandal like this range here the vandal is amazing it doesn't take much recoil control so in close-up situations in small quarters you're always going to want a vandal so if you're always playing like in certain maps you're playing let's say um you're playing up close in situations like this where people are coming right around the corner and that's the entrance and you're here and you have your skills the vandal is going to work amazingly you gotta in situations like this you have to have you can't you can't you can't leave it up to dink less damage stuff like that you gotta have those headshots you gotta be it because you're gonna have five people rushing at you you gotta have that firepower now the gun like the vandal to me personally at long range The, uh, the recoil is a little harder to hit consistently, whereas the Phantom is very smooth, and there's less buck. It's smooth. It's, you, can, you can tell right away. As soon as you start shooting, there's less buck at the long range, so... This phantom right here, if you're the best situation, if you're watching long sights, like if you're in A site and you're, and you're playing window and you're watching both long and short A, the phantom is going to be a great option for you. It's going to give you that consistent long range shot. You're going to be able to stay at range. Me personally, I think a lot of people playing the game right now aren't good at long range. So you being better than everyone at long range is going to give you a big advantage. And I think in this game, the skills, the skills, like all the champion skills, they work, they work good up close, right? There's not many long range uh, champion skills. So they're not going to be able to use their skills. Like I see a lot of people get pushed out of position. I see a lot of people getting a lot of kills just based off of skills. And when it comes down to it, you want people to match up skill versus skill, not 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 skills as far as you know the throw a grenade, the Roomba skill like recoil skill, aim 
So that's what you want people to match up with you with. And at long range, they have no choice. Obviously, if they have an op, or what you would call the uh, operator, the op. That's funny. Like in the game, it's A W P, and in this game, it's operator. So it's funny they made the op the same. So these two guns right here. Me personally, I'm always most likely just because I'm so used to the, the to the recoil curve. I'm most likely going to use the fan. So it's going to be about. So we're at. Let's go to. Let's see. 30, 30 to 50 meters with the. Let's go to 30 to 50 meters with the Vandal. So for the Phantom, that's 124. And for the, van, for the Vandal, that's 356. So let's start off with 30 meters. So 30 meters learn the recoil curve so it's usually going to be two the two bullets are always gonna you can see and you can even see when you scope right here but after about three bullets it starts to buck you see that curve so it's one two three one two so it's about three bullets it starts to buck so you one two three 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 are always going to stay center one two three yeah about the fourth bullet starts to walk up and what you can do to stop that curve is one two three then hold down the mouse and there you go and then when you hold down the mouse you'll see it starts wavering left to right so one two three hold down the mouse kind of control that waver at the same time while you're holding down the mouse Same thing. Ooh, that 50 meter, that 50 meter recoil. So three bullets is always gonna go where you want it to go. And sometimes like even what I like to do is most people are going to go back and forth on the strafe if we're long range. So sometimes I like the left, left, or right, 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 left, 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 and, and just to mess up that curve. Obviously, when you get in that, you're in that, most people are used to shooting like this. But when you're in that vibe, when that, you know, you just got that flow, like. You're just hitting that flow. One, two, three. 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 But if you see, you can throw them off track. You can throw them. If they're, if they're used to catching you, okay, I know he's going to go left. I know he's going to go right. Left, left, left. So that's the Vandal recur uh, recoil curve. And once you learn the recoil, it gets pretty easy. One, two, three. One, two, three. But you want to stay moving and how to get that stop that quick second stop one two three boop, boop. obviously we want to get a little warmed up but let's go into the phantom now I and mean, the phantoms one two three so the phantom let's check the recoil curve on the phantom so we're at five meters and you see there's a lot less buff You can pretty much hold this down. <clears throat> it's a, so much easier. It doesn't take mm, it doesn't take much. Um, it's not hard at all. It doesn't take much to control this. The recoil is a lot less. This is always going to give you way like you can move more with the phantom. The spray is a lot easier. So the Phantom, if you're a long range player, the Phantom, you're always going to have. And plus, if you need to move a lot, that's what's really going to make you a hard, hard hitting target. You're always if you can shoot the Phantom. If you can shoot the Phantom 
yeah, I mean, that's so, that's so easy. Long range phantoms, easy. Headshots are easy. Look, I'm moving left. Boop, 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 boop. So if you're a long range player, I would definitely say pick the phantom. If you're always the person that has to stop rushes, if you're that champion that stops rushes, um, usually what I play, I'm that up close. I like to throw grenades, so I pick this champion here. And um, I usually play the Vandal. The Vandal will always save you in most situations. I hope that gave you guys some game sense and helped you understand when and where to use those weapons. If this video helped you in any way, please shoot me a like. I appreciate it. I try to put my best time and knowledge into these videos. I'm just trying to help people be better players, and I'm trying to make myself a better player. It's a new game. Everyone wants to be at the best. It's going to be super competitive, so any little thing helps. I've learned a lot of game, uh, game sense just from playing Counter-Strike, and a lot of the concepts are going to be the same in this game. The only difference in this game is that you don't have to buy grenades or stuff like that. Your champion comes with built-in skills, and that's it, but pretty much the guns are the same. This is the M4. This is the AK, and uh, that's it. Just learn the recoil, and once you learn that recoil curve and how to control it, then you will be the best player possible and how to move and control the recoil at the same time. So I hope that helps you in your exchanges and duos. Please leave a like, guys. I appreciate it so much, and a subscribe, and uh, we'll make more videos. Take care.